Aries, how are you? Welcome to your general reading for September. Happy September, guys. Do you love it? It's one of my favorite months. All right, so this is just a general. I'm not going to focus on any one particular area. We'll just see what wants to come out. If you're looking specifically for a love reading, those are already posted, so just head back to the channel. I'll try to link it to the end, but usually I don't have time, so all you have to do is go back to the channel, okay? Um, what else? Aries, sun, moon, and rising. Here we go. Overall energy for Aries in September. Ooh, look at you. The fool. This is actually Aries energy. So you guys are, man, feeling yourselves, huh? All right. I'll show these to you again as I read them, okay? A recent past for Aries in September. Two of Swords reversed. Present energy for Aries in September. Oh, nice. This is beautiful. Literally beautiful. It's a beautiful card. The star. Look at that. I know the glare sucks, but can you still tell how freaking pretty this card is? The star. It's also really awesome energy to be in, guys. Immediate future for Aries. Three of Cups. Gosh, that glare. Man, these cards are so pretty. All right. Three of Cups, guys. What are you hoping for, Aries? What is Aries hoping for in September? Ten of Pentacles reversed? What? Why? <laughs> That's a strange thing to hope for, Aries. Potential obstacle for Aries. Yeah, Ten of Wands. What are you afraid of, Aries? What is Aries afraid of in September? Nine of Swords. Advice for Aries in September. Oh boy. The devil. Really, Aries? <laughs> All right. Here we go. So for me as a reader, the overall energy is always the person that I'm reading for. So it'd be the energy that you yourself are taking on. Um, everything else in the reading is interchangeable. It could be for you, someone you're dealing with, your surrounding circumstances, all that good stuff, okay? So your overall energy, Aries, is your energy, the full energy, which is amazing. So, you know, you're being your whole self. If you weren't before, you're starting to be. Um, the Fool is also a brand new journey. You're starting a whole new chapter in your life. It's the first card in the tarot, right? Tarot tells a story. This is the first card. It's the beginning of a new story. You're embarking on a new adventure. Um, you're taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, just jumping into something brand new. All right, let's see what that is. Clarify the Fool for Aries. Clarify the Fool for Aries. The Three of Pentacles could be job related, could have to do with your money, could have to do with your job, might be starting a new job, might be starting a new business. This is partnership, it's collaboration, could be working with other people. All right. Okay, recent past, the two of swords reverse air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but this is making a decision. There was a decision made in the recent past that was a super difficult decision to make, like probably one that, you know, you sat on for a really long time, um, and it took you a while to get clarity on it, but now you have it, now the decision's made, so good job, guys. Now in your present energy, the star. 
beautiful. It's Aquarius energy. If there's an Aquarius that's significant for you, it doesn't have to be. This is amazing, amazing energy. It's blessings from the universe. Pay attention to signs and synchronicities. It's healing, it's rejuvenation, it's replenishment. It's like you're starting this new journey and the universe is behind you the whole way. The universe is kind of backing this, this new chapter of your life, right? You have universal support. Um, if there's something that you're wishing for, put it out there in the universe because it's coming. Like you can, you're in this energy where you can pretty much make anything happen. All right. How freaking amazing Aries. I love it. I fucking love it. It's great. All right. Let's clarify the star. Clarify the star for Aries. No way. Nine of Cups. Okay, so Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. With the Star card, it's also a wish card. It's like the major, the Star is the major arcana wish card. Nine of Cups is a minor arcana wish card. So guys, you are like manifesting the hell out of your dreams. It's so cool. It's like ultimate wish fulfillment for you. So please, please, if you are not manifesting whatever it is that you want to happen in your life, get on it because you can't, you can't waste this opportunity. Let's clarify the nine of cups. What is this wish? Clarify the nine of cups for Aries. The three of wands. So you might be traveling, you might be moving. Otherwise, this is just, you're really preparing for the future. I forgot to say too, the Nine of Cups is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Three of Wands is fire, so you guys as well as Leo and Sagittarius. It doesn't really matter unless it sticks out to you for some reason, but you're preparing for the future. You know, you're laying, you're laying a foundation for what your future is going to look like. Um, and you're kind of, you know, waiting to see the results of of everything that you've put in. So you're already at the three of wands. Once you get to the four of wands, that's your stable foundation, right? That's where you want to be. And you're preparing for that. You're doing everything that you need to do to get there. And you're going to get there for real, for real. All right. In the future, you have the three of cups. This is very, very celebratory energy. You could be celebrating something and it looks like you're going to have something to celebrate here in the near future. So it's very celebratory. It's socializing. It's partying. Um, could be a reunion for some of you. You could be reuniting with somebody. It doesn't have to be. I do have to say here, though, that you have three threes in a row. See, if I put this back here like this, three, 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 like this. So triple threes might mean something to you. Um, otherwise, it's, there's more than just two people involved in your life right now it there's I don't want to say third party like it's a bad thing because I don't think that it is your reading is not a bad reading um I just think that you might be working with other people right now and you guys might all be celebrating together make sense okay all right now here's where it's weird what are you hoping for guys you're hoping for the ten of pentacles reverse so you're not going to be hoping to lose your money that's for sure um it could be that you're hoping for a commitment to end, some type of commitment, whether it's a job, you know, you want to quit your job or quit a relationship, whatever it is for you. It's, it's, it's ending a commitment, okay? Your potential obstacle, that's earth energy, by the way, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Here for your obstacle, we have the Ten of Wands. This is fire, so you guys as well as Leo and Sagittarius. But with the Ten of Wands here as an obstacle, you guys really have to take care of yourself and make sure that you're not um, letting yourself get overwhelmed and overburdened. This is super, super heavy energy. So everything looks good for you here, but there is an obstacle that is just a whole lot of responsibilities or a situation that you're in that is really draining for you, like sucking the life right the fuck out of you. Um, so that's something that you're going to want to deal with because you don't need anything holding you back with this energy that you have right now. You don't need anything, you know, 
weighing you down so that you can't manifest what you're trying to manifest because the energy is so good for you to do that that anything that's holding you back has to go all right otherwise it's going to be wasted and that would suck clarify the ten of wands for aries clarify the ten of wands for aries <coughs> Yeah, Five of Pentacles. This is Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But the Five of Pentacles is leaving someone out in the cold. It's poverty mentality as well. I don't think that you're having financial issues. But if you are, I don't think that they're going to be around forever. Um, there's just some changes that need to happen here. But with the Five of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands, somebody needs left behind because they're just too exhausting. They're just too draining or, you know something needs left behind whether it's a job whether you need to move this is actually like it's kind of like the homeless card so maybe you're moving you know maybe someone that is living with you is moving or something but it has to happen because it's just gotten to the point where it just it just holds you back right now it's just weighing you down and you don't need that in your life whatever it is if it's a job relationship living situation whatever Okay. What are you afraid of? The Nine of Swords. Yeah, I mean, I can see that with your obstacle here, but you don't need to be afraid of this. Yeah, I didn't even explain what it is. Whatever. I don't know what my problem is. But anyway, with the Nine of Swords, it's Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it's anxiety, it's depression, it's being up all damn night, not sleeping, not eating, just all in your head feeling like trash so that's your fear so it could be that you're afraid if you leave a situation whether it's a job living situation relationship whatever it is for you you're afraid that it's going to put you in this place where you're just like a fucking disaster right um and that's a legitimate fear i mean that happens when we leave shit behind whatever it is but it's necessary to get you where you need to be all right honestly you don't need anything holding you back let's clarify that nine of swords clarify the nine of swords for aries as a fear um also guys you know if that's a fear of yours you know being in that shit place you have the star in your present energy that's healing from the universe so you have enough universal support that if you end up in that place it's not going to be for very long okay clarify the nine of swords oh okay it's clarified by the king of swords reverse so the king of swords reverse is a very cold detached person can be verbally abusive or just kind of a liar <laughs> someone that trash talks but it's air energy a gemini libra aquarius so you may need to separate yourself from that type of person you know however you're involved with them if it's you know a co-worker a friend a family member a spouse whatever if they're that kind of person then I mean what choice do you really have besides cutting them off even though it's it could put you in this place for a little while well it's for the best it's to put you where you need to be um all right all right now your advice this one <laughs> I don't know what you're doing over there guys but it's funny it's funny to me all right your advice the freaking devil the devil it's Capricorn energy if that means anything to you I don't think the signs are relevant in the advice position but if you do cool run with it the devil is your advice <laughs> it's tripping me out and I'm gonna clarify before I even speak on it all right let's clarify the devil as advice for Aries it is a badass card though look at it badass all right, clarify the devil for Aries. Oh. Okay, we're probably going to clarify this again, but let me just show you. So to clarify the devil, right, you've got the Queen of Wands reversed. 
So with the Queen of Wands reverse here, this is your energy as well as Leo and Sagittarius. So if you're not dealing with a toxic fire sign, um, you need to release some toxic behavior patterns in yourself. All right, and you need to really, okay, so there's some, there's some unhealthy behavior patterns here that cause you to not be confident. Like, you see, like, there's something really big happening for you here. You're embarking on a whole new journey. Um, but there's some, there's some behavior patterns here, some tendencies that make you feel like you don't have the confidence to go after it. Does that make sense? Um, you need to do whatever it is that you do to get your confidence back. Practice self-care, whatever it is that you do. You need to get your confidence back and eliminate these, these toxic issues that make you feel like you can't go after what you want. Queen of Wands goes after what she wants and she has that confidence, right? She's ambitious and goal-driven and gets what she wants and not in an arrogant way. She's just that confident. But when she's reversed, it's like there's no drive, there's no motivation, no goals. And I don't think that that's the place that you're in. But watch out for ending up in that place. Don't let yourself end up in that place. Don't let some kind of toxic issue that is in your environment cause you to get down on yourself or doubt yourself. Does that make sense? And watch out for feeling bound to a situation. You're never bound to any situation unless you choose to be, all right? Um, watch out for some obsession, some unhealthy behaviors. All right, because you don't want to mess up this whole thing that you have going on here. Let's clarify that again. All right. Clarify the devil for Aries. With the Queen of Wands reversed here, I do have to say there could be someone here that has some sort of a sexual addiction or some issues regarding sex could be completely cut off sexually um but i think if that's the case it's due to insecurity and lack of confidence so i know this isn't a love reading but with the queen of wands queen of wands is a very sexual energy so so is the devil so i have to put that out there okay all right you have judgment with the devil and the queen of wands reverse. So use your good judgment if you're dealing with somebody that you think is, you know, kind of just an asshole, um, maybe controlling, demanding, whatever. Use your good judgment when it comes to that person. And also here, there's going to be something coming up for you that needs reevaluated. A situation in your life needs, you need to take a closer look at it and reevaluate it. Um, and make a final decision on it. It's something that you thought was done, you thought was over with, whether it's, you know, a past person or just a past issue, it's coming back up. Like it's, it's like some past toxicity that you thought was done, but really it's not. And now it's time for you to look at it again and heal it for real, for real, right? Um, because that's going to enable you to get your confidence where it needs to be and actually embark on this new journey with that confidence so that you can just take a risk and take a leap and jump into something completely new um, without being scared, you know? All right, guys. So trust yourself. Trust your judgment. Don't let yourself get down on yourself. I don't care what, what somebody's saying to you if you have this fucking king of swords reverse person over here trash talking you calling you names putting you down they're completely irrelevant and you should not listen to them okay all right i love you guys i will talk to you uh probably in another day with the singles reading all right see you guys